Welcome back. Now, in this video, we'll see about the new feature which is launched by Microsoft in 2023. The name of the feature is Clear All Slices. Now, first thing, this feature is already available in the Actions part. Now, it's not visible in the tab over here. It's visible in the backend, which is in the Format tab. So, for this activity, what we are going to do is, we'll first create some slices and some visuals. Let's import the data first. Now, I can just click on Excel Workbook. I'll pick up the data kept into one of the folder. Name of the file is sample superstore, which is superstore data set. Click on open. Now here in this particular file, I have some data set. So I'll just quickly import the orders sheet over here and then click on load. Now in this place, what will happen is it will load the data on the right hand side in the data tab. If some people are not able to view this data tab, they can definitely go to the view tab or the view menu bar. And you can see that's a data view option available here. Now, this is a new feature or new kind of option available in the view tab where you can see all the fields on the right hand side. Now, first thing what we are going to do is we'll create one table at the bottom. I'll just select this table at the bottom here and uh, I'll add some few fields. So, let me add here some options. Let's say customer name. I'll add here subcategory. I'll add here the sales and then I can add here profit. So these are few columns which I added here. Now what I can do is I'll add here multiple slices. So let me minimize the other options here. Collapse and I can collapse. So to create slices, we can go to the slicer option here. Here I can add few slices. One for the category. I can create this category slicer. Second, I can add here one more slicer. And this would be let's say for region option. And third slicer I can pick up here. Drag and drop it on the top. This slicer I'll pick up for one of the column named as segment. And one more and the last slicer, I'll pick up the slicer for one more, let's say as state. This slicer I'll keep on the right hand side. Now, suppose if I select the option as furniture, you see at the bottom the total gets changed and the data gets filtered. So right now I have the profit which is 18,000. If I select central option, I'll have the profit as minus 2,000. If I select home office and if I select, let's say, Texas. So these are all the slices which I've selected right now. Now, today, if I want to clear all the slices, what is the option I have? I have to deselect this option or I can just click on this clear selection option or again, click on clear selection. And here it is difficult. I have to search the option and then I have to deselect the option here. Now, this is very easy to understand. Now, imagine if this particular slicer, if I have a kind of drop down option, what I mean by drop down, if I click on this format option, more options here on the right hand side, if you see this is slicer settings option here, instead of vertical list, if I have a drop down option and this drop down becomes very small here. Now, in this case, if I select some option, let's say as at the bottom, I'll select something, let's say as uh, New York. Suppose if I select New York, now if I want to clear the slicer, one option is I can click on clear filter. Or second option is I have to go down and deselect this option. This is very difficult. So now what uh, Microsoft Power BI new feature has come up with. Here you can create one button. And on that button you can apply a clear all slicer option. So I can go to the insert menu bar. And here I have the option as buttons. In the buttons I have the option given as clear all slices. So here if I select clear all slicer. And I can just drag and drop it here. Now what is the beauty of this option? Here on this particular button, an action is already applied and you see the action is given as on. If I go down and find out, there's an action type named as clear all slices, which is already available, which is enabled. So my job right now would be just to do a little bit of cosmetic option. Let's say I can go to the text, increase the size of text, make it bold. Also, I can change the color of this particular text. But what will happen is if I select this button, if I click on this control, click on this button, the remaining filters which are applied, the slices, it will get cleared in one shot. All these options. So I'll press control click and you can see the total right now, which is 8300. So if I control click on this option, all these slices will be cleared in one shot. This is the beautiful part about this particular uh, new feature. Now, along with this, we have also have a bonus option where I can apply all slices. Now, suppose if I select this technology, West region, carefully observe, 
this table at the bottom is getting changed for every selection. If I select home office. Now imagine if you have a beautiful dashboard, a very big dashboard over here or a report. Now the changes which are occurring, which are dynamic, which will reduce the performance of your report. Now this is a bit kind of uh, time consuming, energy consuming as well. So what Microsoft has brought is, they brought here one more feature of apply all slices. When you select this apply all slices, I can just drag and drop it here. When you bring it, what will happen is, here already an action is applied. The name of the action is apply all slices. Now when you select furniture, carefully observe the data at the bottom will not change. So if I select central, carefully observe it's 286,000. If I select home office, it is still 286,000. So this will only get activated. The slices will only be applied when I select the option is apply all slices. What is the benefit of using this feature? The performance of your report will not change. Okay, it will it will not be hampered. Now, this is a very small data set of hardly 10,000 records. If I go to the data view, it's not more than 10,000 records. But in real time in the organization, you deal with data which is millions and millions of records. So at that time, performance plays a very important role. So in order to avoid the performance issues, this apply all slices plays an important part. So from here, I can select, let's say California. Now, when all these slices are selected, now if I think I am confirmed, I can apply that option. You see on the top, it is seen as not yet applied. Everywhere, it will give you the option here. Now, if I press control click on apply all slices, then you can see the value at the bottom and the data would be filtered. So when I say control click, you see now all the slices are applied and here the data is filtered. Now, definitely the data is not there. Therefore, we are not able to see the data. However, I can click on clear all selection and now I can click on apply all slices. So you see it's minus 1198.61. So that is something which you can think of. Now, this feature was not available in the previous year 2020. This feature has been added in the year of 2023. So, what is the feature name? It is clear all slices and apply all slices in Power BI. Now, this is on a single table. You can have multiple tables available on this particular report. And this feature will work very clearly and very nicely on this particular report. I hope you have understood the feature about clear all slices and apply all slices in Power BI. That's all for this video.